Welcome to another day with Road to Plates. I've got here Guy. Morning. Boz. Yeah. And today we have something special for Aston Martin. Guy, why don't you give a bit of a highlight of what, what's happening today? Yeah, so we've got a really special day planned for Aston Martin and the people who own Aston Martin cars. So, um, Zagamis uh, are uh, bringing a group of people with uh, Aston Martin cars to the Mornington Peninsula. We're going to be meeting them uh, at Stonia's Winery, which is in uh, Merrick's Beach. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do some tasting of uh, back vintages today. Wow. So we're going to taste three back vintage wines. So when I say back vintage, um, these, these wines are not available to the general public. So we're talking wines from 2009 up to 2013. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, so it should be really good. We're going to taste a couple of other wines as well, just yep. to mix it in. Stoners is a really good winery. It's one of the best on the Mornington Peninsula. It's been around for a long time. It's got a very good name. So um, around the world as well, not only in Australia. Um, from Stonia's we then go to uh, Linden Dairy. So Linden Dairy uh, is uh, located at Red Hill, again on the Mornington Peninsula. Um, and we've organised uh, a really special luncheon. It's actually a digger station luncheon. That sounds really good. I think I can't wait to actually see it. Uh, I mean, it was five courses. Yeah, so we've got five courses. Um, so it's a, it's a big day, a lot of food. Um, but it's going to be really enjoyable. So we've matched the food and wine. So again, the wine is coming from Linden Dairy itself. So Linden Dairy not only um, has a restaurant and accommodation, but they also have a winery. So we're going to actually have their wine. So it's going to be fantastic. I s yeah, well, I think it's great. It's just a pity that the weather is quite miserable. It just looks very like English weather. But yep. I think we're going to do the best we can, and it's still going to be an awesome event. And what better way of actually traveling around with Aston Martin? Today's all about enjoyment, um, enjoying what the Mornington Peninsula has to offer, um, and it's got a lot to offer. Um, okay. It is a look at, a lot of people think it's a, a little bit of mini Europe, um, with, with all the rolling hills, with the, with the pine trees. Um, there are gums, obviously, as well. Uh, a lot of pine trees were planted as windbreaks on the Mornington Peninsula. So um, it, it, it lends itself to um, something quite special. It does. I think, I think this area, I mean, apart from having a lot of produce, is very green compared to the rest of uh, Melbourne. So uh, it's, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's a lovely way just to, to drive around look and, and really experience and the beautiful views and the scenics of the beach and the, and the sea around so yeah, pretty spectacular yeah and what better way if you're driving a nice car yeah look um, I think that's you know that's part of what we're doing is um, showing people what what you can do um, with a nice car you can take in some fantastic sights enjoy some lovely food um, and that's a lot of what we're, what we're trying to bring to everybody. So uh, I think everyone's like said, going to really enjoy today and I think people who are watching this are also going to enjoy today. Aston Martin function today, so it's really exciting. We're in the barrel room at Stonia's. So I'm here with the chief winemaker, and we're just going to ask a quick couple of questions about what we're actually going to taste today. It's really exciting, so maybe you could just fill us in on what we're going to be doing today. So today we're going to be trying, uh, rather than the wines that we normally show at people at Cellar Door, we've got a few different wines, some back vintage wines, and a couple of special wines too. So uh, in the Chardonnay, we've got a couple of back vintage wines, which we think are looking really, really good at the moment. Um, we've only got small quantities left of them, so uh, we're, we're opening them up um, as a bit of a treat. And, um, and then in the Pinots, we're looking at our Estonia family vineyard, Pinot Noir, which is the first vineyard uh, planted um, in, with Pinot Noir by Estonia, and one of the earliest Pinot Noir vineyards in, in Australia, actually. That's exciting. 
Yeah, should be great. It's our, it's our favourite. So hopefully we've got actually enough wine, just in case some of these people decide to buy a few cases. Well, they're, they're, there's a little bit there, but there's not, not massive amounts. I mean, to give you an example, the, the Stonia family vineyard, we only ever make 50 dozen, so um, that's, uh, it's a very, very small vineyard and very small production. So um, 600 bottles we make every year, so we, we always open bottles with, uh, with interest every time we, we uh, can try them. Look, it's going to be an exciting day. Look, it, it is one of the fantastic wineries on, on the Mornington Peninsula. It's been around for a long time. It's got a fantastic reputation. And more so, the wines are fantastic there. It's one of my favourite wineries, and that's probably why we're here. So, look, I'm really looking forward to, to today and trying these back vintages wines. And So, we're going to enjoy it with, uh, with a group of people. We're, uh, we, we've had lots of... Uh, we've had the US ambassador. We've had some rock stars and film stars. But we've never had a group with 16 Aston Martins parked in the <laughs> car park, so that's, that's a first, uh, I can say quite confidently. Um, we're going to look at some wines, we're not going to be too heavy about it, um, but uh, so we've selected six wines. Um, as Guy said, we, we actually make a lot of wines. Stonia's been around a, a, a long time um, in, in the, as far as the history of the region goes. So back in the 1970s, there weren't many vineyards, or there were almost no vineyards in this region. And uh, you know, you think back to the Barossa where there are 100 year old vines and what have you, but in this area it was mainly cherry trees and apple trees. So Brian Stonia, who founded Stonia, he, um, he had the foresight to, to see it as a great viticultural area and, and here we are nearly 40 years later and we're, we're quite fortunate that we've got some of the oldest vines in the region. We're one of the pioneer wineries and uh, our focus is just Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, those two varieties only. So Pinot Noir is obviously something that a lot of people are getting into these days, they're sort of discovering it. Um, it's, it's something we've been doing for nearly, nearly 40 years, so um, we've been honing our skills I suppose over time, uh, myself and uh, my two previous predecessors, uh, you know, and, and hopefully we'll keep, keep getting better every year. Um, we're sitting here in the, in the barrel shed, so um, these are all, all these barrels come from France. Uh, they're certainly not as expensive as an Aston Martin, but we certainly think they're quite expensive. And you know, each barrel costs about $2,200 each uh, when you buy them. Um, we only use French oak. That just tends to be the best oak. Australian oak tends to lose water. It doesn't, it, it doesn't hold any liquid. Um, and American oak can be that sweet coconut flavour you often get in, in some Shiraz wines in particular. So, Every two weeks we top these barrels, um, so there's a lot of work involved in putting wine in, in, in barrels. A lot of the accountants always say we do nothing uh, outside of vintage, but uh, that's not true. We do, well, we're topping this for one, but you know, we're, we're getting ready for bottling now too. So. Uh, so, what we've organised for you today is a degustation menu. So, um, we're going to match the food and the wine for you. So, it's all done for you. Don't have to think. Just sit back, relax, eat and drink. So, we've got um, a duck liver parfait to start off with. We're actually going to use that as a bit of a palate teaser. Um, we're going to uh, combine that um, with a sparkling wine. So, uh, the staff have already put out glasses for you. Uh, first course is uh, the asparagus risotto. So it's a local uh, asparagus that we've sourced uh, from Gippsland. Um, and we're going to combine that with a Pinot Gris. So all the wines that we're using today are local. So they're either from Linden Dairy or a winery very close to us. Uh, second course, uh, we have a tuna. Now, I'm not going to go too much into each dish and what we're doing with it. We'll, we may come back and focus on that a bit later on. Um, so we're going to do a Chardonnay for the tuna. Uh, third course is a quail, so it's a little bit richer again. Uh, so we're going to have the Pinot Noir for the quail. Uh, fourth course is a chicken dish, uh, and we're going to have a Shiraz for the chicken dish. It's quite a, um, a heavy uh, jus that's uh, napped the chicken breast. So I think you'll enjoy that. And the final course, um, we're going to have something from Foxy's Hangout. So a winery is just a little bit further down the road. So it's a chicken dish, uh, sorry, a chocolate parfait that we're having for the final. 
all done. All done. Thank you, Mr. Gay. Oh, it's a pleasure. Yeah. So I think we've had a good day. Uh, um, so we enjoyed the lunch. Well, probably starting from the top again. We, we oh, enjoyed right. Stonia's great wine Correct. experience. Correct. Um, enjoyed some back vintage wines. We had wine from 2009 uh, to 2013 as a back vintage tasting. A mixture of Chardonnays. And Pinots. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think you really enjoyed the Pinot. The 2009 Pinot was I a highlight. Do. I think that, that was, was a highlight for me, for me yeah. as well. Yeah. Which yeah. was a whole press. It was quite interesting. So we're talking grape and on the vine, um, cut and pressed. Yes. So it wasn't correct. Yeah. So correct. it was quite interesting. Exactly. So it had a lot of length still in it. So um, the 2010, um, which was probably nearing its end of its lifespan, the 2009 had a lot of uh, age still. Yeah. 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 So it was great. Everyone enjoyed that. Uh, and then here we are now at uh, beautiful, Indian. yeah, beautiful surrounding. Um, and it's funny because when we came here, it was absolutely bucketing down with yeah. rain. And uh, sure enough, uh, when the event is finished, it's the sun beautiful. shines. Yeah, where are my glasses? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Sunglasses. So I mean, this is probably where we would have had the the actual lunch. Uh, we were going to be in between here. Correct. Uh, in the well, actually where the car is. Yeah, yeah, basically where the car was or is. Sorry. We would have had the lunch, but look, we we had a great uh, venue anyway. We were in the restaurant, and we could see out. We had all the cars lined up on the grass. Um, yeah. We've got photos, so we'll have those posted as well. Correct. Um, but we enjoyed a really good lunch. I mean, I'd be interested to hear your feedback on the on the lunch and how did you? Actually, the my favourite was the tuna. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, because I like I like it uh, sort of lightly seared, and it wasn't yes. a big chunk, and no. it was quite presentable. And funny enough, that's the one that I didn't take a picture of. Uh, so, yeah. well, I'll have to do another function so I can ca capture that, that image. But yeah. no, in fact, the five course was quite filling. It was. And it sort of came around a reasonable time. So I think everyone enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, it was plenty of time to actually discuss and talk with, with the neighbours and so forth and enjoy the wine and so forth and the surroundings. And we matched the wine. So we had, exactly. we had wines match with each course. So it wasn't random. So we started off with the sparkling. Um, with the Emmers Bush, which uh, yeah. was the parfait, yes. um, and then going into the asparagus risotto, which was a you know local grown asparagus in, in Gippsland, um, uh, and then we worked our way through. So we had uh, the quail, yeah. Uh, we had the, the tuna, which I'd actually have to agree with you. I really enjoyed the, the the seared tuna dish. I thought that was the highlight. Uh, we had the chicken again. That was a really yep, nice yep, food. Yep, yep. Um, and then with the parfait to finish off with. So. And I think even the ones that had a vegetarian or the ones that I think it was one person who was a garlic onion. They yes. also very much enjoyed the food. Um, so, coming back to this car, uh, we saw a lot of really nice cars, anything from DB11 to Vantages yep. to the Vanquish. Um, there was another, also another person with a uh, Rapid as well. Um, all have a lovely sound and they have their traditional grill that we can see here, uh, like a little mouse. Um, lovely car, lovely sound. Uh, Beautiful to drive with, and it has a yeah, an aura to it. And if you look at it from this point of view, as soon as someone walks around and, and they look at this car, and they say, "Yep, this is a, this is what I'd like to do." Um, so what we're going to do is we've got to also thank uh, Esteban and Zigami for allowing us to take and partake in this opportunity to provide them with a, a wonderful event, uh, and also to lend us this car, uh, which we have till tomorrow morning. So, so yes, we've got a little you. bit more time to enjoy yes. it, I guess. And, and, Indeed. Um, yeah. But at our own pace. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly our own pace. Yeah. So I guess, I don't know, we'll probably start the car up and drive off into the into the distance of Main Ridge. Yes, distance um, of Main Ridge, yeah. which is not that far. <laughs> but anyway, look, I'm Guy. This I'm is Boz. And we are from Road to Play. Road to Play.